On Sunday, ILTV reported on Iran's annual Revolutionary Guards war games over the weekend, including blowing up targets simulating the city of Dimona, Israel's nuclear complex in the Negev Desert. All of this comes as the, to as the talks in Vienna continue to stall and Israel and the United States have announced that a military option is on the table. And so joining us now to discuss this latest escalation and its significance is Professor Othay Minbal, President of the Jerusalem Institute for Strategy and Security. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure. So first of all, what can you tell us about Iran's war games? I mean, is this an annual event or does it have special significance this year? I think that uh, the maneuvers are uh, an annual uh, event. Uh, this time, uh, it was accompanied uh, by words, uh, sentences, uh, uh, making uh, quite clear that uh, some of those missiles uh, could be uh, could have uh, their target, uh, Israel, and particularly uh, the Dimona complex, the Dimona nuclear complex. Mm -hmm. Now, we've heard a lot of experts saying that the not-so-veiled threat of blowing up Israel's nuclear complex is actually a significant step up in, in aggression. I mean, what are your thoughts on this? I think that uh, we should uh, understand that uh, this type of messages, first of all, have a, a defensive uh, a character. They don't want to be attacked, and they try to deter Israel and others from uh, attacking uh, their uh, nuclear uh, installations. Uh, they also uh, signal to the world that they are ready to escalate and to do a lot of havoc uh, in the region uh, if uh, they are uh, being uh, uh, touched by uh, some militaries uh, in the US, Israel, or, or others. Uh, and this is also part of the verbal dialogue which is going on between Israel and Iran, uh, we have threatened, Israel has threatened with action, uh, and uh, they respond in kind. Uh, we definitely should uh, take this type of uh, threats seriously, because they have serious capabilities to harm uh, Israel. So, I mean, you mentioned that these are all threats that are serious threats that we should take seriously. You know, earlier this month, we saw a map on the front page of the state-sponsored newspaper with a map of, of countless Israeli targets. I mean, all of this, do they really have the capabilities to carry out all of these threats? Uh, I think they can uh, definitely launch uh, many missiles uh, toward Israel. They have the range. They have, uh, their missile have a range beyond Israel. They can hit also um, targets in, in Eastern Europe. And they are working at uh, extending this range.